Hi everyone, Deborah Lightheart, intuitive reader and energy healer. Thanks for tuning in. This is part five of my intuitive awakening journey. And it begins, I am now 20, almost 29 years old. And I am working at the Inn of the Seventh Ray in West Dallas, Wisconsin. And I'm doing readings there a couple days a week. And the manager comes to me and says, hey, there's a lot of people who want to learn how to do tarot. So would you teach a class? And I was like, well, I am self-taught. If you remember from, you know, I think it's part two. If you remember from that, I'm totally self-taught. I have absolutely no formal training in tarot whatsoever. So when she asked me to teach a class, I was like, oh my gosh, no way. There's no way I could do that. And, um, you know, and she's like, well, you know what? Just teach them what you do. And I'm like, well, the, the technique that I use, I made up myself. And so I wasn't sure I could teach it or like what kind of format it could do. And she's like, you can do it. Come on, you'll be fine. So go ahead and just, just do it. So they booked a class and I started teaching. And I got up in front of the group. I was so nervous. My hands were shaking. I was stuttering, like I'm sure. But they were all patient with me. And they all, you know, listened to what I had to say. They were awesome. And it was such a diverse group of people in the class. It was really kind of amazing to see people from all walks of life sort of gathering together and, you know, exploring the tarot. So it was really a beautiful experience. And I loved it. I loved sharing the, the cards with people. I loved seeing that, that aha, that intuitive awakening opening up in people. It was really beautiful. And so I continued teaching classes there once a month for a couple years, um, up until I left the store and I wasn't there anymore. Um, you know, I just kept teaching classes for, you know, for as long as I was there. And so it was beautiful. Um, I've expanded, you know, my work and teaching a lot since then, because um, obviously I've been reading for a lot longer, so I've got a lot more to share, a lot more experience under my, under my belt, so to speak, um, you know, and so it was a really beautiful thing. Um, I worked at that store for a few years, went through a pretty intense journey. I felt that my, my guardian angels were guiding me to relocate. And so I felt like I needed to follow that instinct. And I packed up all my kids, gave notice on my apartment, um, had three little kids in tow as a single mother at this point, and um, headed myself to North Carolina. Um, so I gave notice at my job, you know, and I, I quit and I moved. And I got there and I couldn't find a place to live. And I found a dog in the road just wandering. So I adopted this new dog. And so my situation just got so complicated. Um, so I had three little ones, you know, this new dog and big dog, not even a small dog. It was a big dog, um, you know, and I just like my life was so complicated. I couldn't find any place to live. I couldn't find a place to work, you know, to be able to offer my readings. And so... Basically, after two months, I packed up my kids and went back um, back to Wisconsin with my tail between my legs and feeling really devastated again by following my guardian angel's messages. And I didn't understand why this didn't work out. I felt like I was really guided there and, um, you know, came back, had quit my job. So I had nowhere to work anymore. They said, I'm sorry, Deborah, you quit. We replaced you. And um, I was like, well, can you at least give me like a couple hours a week or something? Which they squeezed me in on like, I think it was like a Sunday afternoon or something like that. Um, but I really needed the income of working multiple days per week because now I've got three kids. So I was pretty devastated. I did a lot of crying and tears. And my angels said to me, Deborah, you don't need the bookstore to make, you know, to make a living. You've been doing this for a long time. Like, you're going to be okay. And sure enough, I was. My business grew without the bookstore. I began doing more and more phone readings, which I had already been offering since the beginning. Um, I began doing more and more phone readings and, you know, connecting with more and more people and, you know, people referred me to other people and my business ended up taking off again. And so, 
you know, it all, it all worked out. But, um, yeah, so that's my story for, I think that was part five. Um, you know, part five of the really challenging time of Deborah's, you know, Deborah's intuitive journey. Um, but also really beautiful. I was very blessed to realize that I was not tied to a particular space, that I didn't need to work from one particular spot to promote me, that I had grown enough that I could, you know, do my business wherever I was. And so that was a beautiful feeling. And I learned a lot from that. So um, for those of you who are struggling to get your businesses off the ground, for those of you who are, you know, really trying to get out there and get yourself known, I just want to give you all the encouragement that I can because in the beginning, I was that reader that sat at events and didn't have any customers, that didn't have any business at all, and I would go in the bathroom and I would cry sometimes during spirit fairs because I didn't have anybody lining up to come see me, and now I am that person that everybody lines up everywhere I go because, you know, I've been doing this for so long that I've built up like a really strong following. So if you're struggling to get your business going, I just want to give you all the encouragement I can. Just keep at it. The, the more you do, the deeper you, you know, connect to your gift and your talent, the more it's going to grow. So don't give up. All right. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do a six or seven or whatever. Um, maybe I won't even do them in parts anymore. Maybe I'll just post some fun, intuitive stories. So thanks so much for joining. Um, if you need more information, you can always visit me at DebraLightheart.com. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.